Should you copy the tennis present tennis? Do you want to be Roger Federer, Novak Djokovic, Rafael Nadal? The good and the bad of copying the pro tennis players in tennis. What's up everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video of Tennis Improvement. It is Daniel and today we will be talking about the pro tennis players. Obviously, it is very common to see the junior tennis players hitting a forehand like Roger Federer or moving like Novak Djokovic, uh, for example. But while this can sometimes work, it often ends up in, a, in the player struggling to master the fundamentals of the particular stroke. So what should you copy? And in general, should you copy the, the pros in tennis? Before we move on, make sure to subscribe and like the video. I will be starting doing a few shout outs, maybe once a week or once um, every two weeks. Um, so make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to comment down below, done. And if you do that, then I will obviously see it and I will pick one person. So let's start with the bad, actually. We're gonna go in reverse. We'll start with the bad and then go with the good. The bad. Where a lot of tennis players go wrong is they fix like on one element of a stroke and lose track of everything else. And another error is, you know, the player tries to make their strokes identical to their favorite players. And obviously they're gonna think about mostly just the swing um, because, you know, you have to feel comfortable in, in what you're doing. Like for me, when I look at my game, I don't know any pro tennis player that has like my forehand. My forehand swing is different than everybody's on who's a, currently a pro tennis player. If we're talking about all of this, it typically ends up causing a lot of issues. So the fundamentals are often neglected um, and honestly, if you want to fully copy your pro tennis player, it's not going to, you know, put you into a, um, a good place to be a good junior, to be a good adult, to be a good college player, and so on and so forth. So the good for it, it's, it's a good idea to study the best players in the world and to analyze their strokes and slow motion so you at least know what to do. So if your coach says, hey, you know, there's something wrong with your backhand, then you can go and look back and you can watch, for example, Novak Djokovic backhand slow motion on YouTube, just search anything, um, and you'll see, you know, what's the, what, what he does. It'll definitely increase your knowledge on tennis and then also it, it would just give you a better understanding of the game, especially when you have a problem with strategy. Um, but however, the main thing um, to look for is its common traits and many players and, you know, common traits that many players share. Um, and these are the fundamentals, so, um, if you do see a bunch of tennis players all doing the same few things on a particular show, chances are those are the fundamentals. Um, however, if you see only one player doing something, most likely it only works for them. So for example, for me, my forehand swing is not normal. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, at Daniel Ovovich, link in the description, you're going to see my, my strokes. They're, they're much different than the average person. Um, it could be because I'm just I just feel more comfortable doing it, or because I want to work on it. I mean, it's pretty easy for me. I'm I'm just insane. Um, like Novak Djokovic and the Neil Medvedev, two completely different players. Um, the serve motion is different. Um, their strategies could be different. Their forehand and backhands are different. So overall, honestly, when I look at tennis players, their strokes are different, um, and also their strategy. Like for Djokovic, Djokovic is so consistent. He's able to bring the opponent out, um, go to the net, hit a volley or, or overhead and win the point. Um, and that's why he's able to, you know, get these matches. He, he has some kind of strategy that's in his head where he can go out and, you know, win. And there are other players where they might be doing the exact same thing as Djokovic, uh, but there might be one particular thing they're not good at, whether it could be actually physically or mentally, because in tennis, the mental game is very important um, and your nutrition like what you eat before a match what you eat in between matches so you have energy uh, mentally if you don't so you if you you know if you get if you're somebody if you guys are if they're if you guys are watching and and you are frustrated when you play tennis don't be frustrated um i mean that sounds very simple but um you know when you're frustrated um it's never going to do you good. It's just going to make you go downhill. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it from my point of view. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope everybody enjoyed. I'm really sorry, guys. I haven't posted in two weeks. I'm trying to post more and more. Um, but, you know, the content is hard to make. I'm 
busy right now, but I'm really sorry. Um, I'll definitely post more and more. Hey, make sure to drop a like, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also guys, I'm going to be getting credit. This video was edited not by myself, but somebody else. His channel will be in the description. His channel name is Matt Stoll. Um, he has 60 subs, he makes great videos. Uh, his latest video is really cool, but um, anyways, um, go check him out in the description. Go follow my social media links in the description. And that being said, it's Daniel from Tennis Improvement, and I'll see you guys next time.